Hello and welcome to Keep Information Systems Simple video on the count command inside of Microsoft Excel 0365. Many times in business we want to know how many records are in a, a data set and sometimes we're lucky where our data set is very small like this and we still have multiple options. Our first option is we can come in and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool, there's eight command or eight records. Even better, we might have them numbered and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect, there's eight records. But in reality, our data sets are often much larger. This data set has uh, just over a thousand records in it. And even in business, that's a very small number of records. So instead of going through and trying to count and tell our boss or gather the data of how many records we have, we're gonna use some count commands. Um, the count command, we start with, as we do all formulas, equals, and then we're just going to type count. And you can see Microsoft Excel trying to be helpful. Counts the number of cells in a range that contains numbers. So here that tells us that we can't count the cashiers because that's text. We're going to count the numbers. So I'm going to select column B to tell me how many records I have in this. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go through and highlight all of these records. After nearly a minute of scrolling, I finally made it to the bottom, and we can see we have 1,049 records. I'm going to go ahead and close my parentheses and press Enter, and you can see that number of items is 1,023. Now, the problem with this is, one, it's inefficient to scroll all the way down. Two, that's a locked range. So we can see that we end at 1,049. Now, just to be safe, I'm going to enter uh, 1,023 because that's the number of records. If we jump to the bottom and we add more records, as we hope we would, continue to make more sales, continue to do more work, you'll notice that this is not dynamic because it's stopping at 1,049. It's not growing as our data set grows. So that's one of the problems. If you give the count command a set range, so we're going to stop at 1,049, jump back up here, and so since the count command is only going to count any cell that has a number in it, I like to give it the entire cell range, an entire dynamic range. And so I'm going to give it the command of equals count, if I can type here. And I'm going to select C colon C. And this is the entire column. And when I close this parentheses, you can see that I have 998. So we have a problem with our count. If we scroll through, sure enough, there's dirty data. Now that's very common inside of Microsoft Excel, and we're not going to fix that in this video. But what we're going to show you is the different count command. The great thing about the doing the entire range is if we were to come down and, in this blank data, put in the actual number. doesn't matter you'll see that our data has updated from 998 to 999. And if we ever add records at the bottom, it automatically updates. So the benefit of the count command using an entire column is it will ignore blank data, any blank data that we might have. You see we have some of that here. It'll ignore any headers that we have. Most data sets have headers and it will be dynamic for as we going forward. Now, you'll notice in this video that we didn't count the number of cashiers. That's because the count command only counts cells with numbers. To count with text, we have to use the count A command, which you can find a video link in the description below. We didn't count the number of records that have a cashier listed, but you know maybe blank data somewhere else. To count the blanks, we have to use the count blank command, link in the description below. And then realistically, we often have to use multiples of these commands to figure out where we have bad data and cleanse that data uh, and there'll be a video to the there'll be a video for that link in the description below for using multiple different counts to figure out where we have bad data but for this video we just wanted to cover the count command again my option is if you're going to use the count command and can make it dynamic do so that way you've built a tool that you can use over and over again thank you very much